You grow up being taught that it's bad to fail and I've spent my whole life trying my hardest not to fail. Not to get low marks in exams, not to miss the netball shot, not to get a bad comment from my teachers. Being programmed to believe that failing means you're not smart, you're not good enough and you don't deserve the same opportunities. But now I want to fail. This week I'm going to be documenting my failing journey as I start something up again that I used to do 10 years ago, as well as try a few new things. I've re-bought a violin. Ah! I'm so excited. Today I want to buy music books. Obviously now I've got the violin, but I haven't got any music to play, so I want to go buy a book. But before then, I want to share a bit more about what I think when I think about failing. We have two people, okay? Let's call it just one, just two. Just one doesn't like failing. Just two loves failing. And this is when just one is zero and just one is 80. If just one she spends her whole life trying and she just fails and she gives up. She does that all the way through until she's 80. Jess too loves failing. And this is Jess too when she's zero versus when she's 80. And this is her progress. She starts something, she might fail, but she gives it another go. Look how much more progress she's made compared to Jess one. She's never, she's never even made it up here because she just keeps giving up because she keeps failing. But Jess too, oh my gosh. She's made so much progress. She's loving life. She's open to all these new opportunities and she loves failing because she gets to her end goal faster or she progresses more. Jess one is so scared of failing. Who do you want to be? I know who I want to be. Jess two all the way. From the other videos I've done on this channel, you could probably tell that I love to make the most of my life and that um, as I keep saying, life is short is like one thing that keeps like motivating me to keep going and to keep doing things like failing and trying to like enjoy change and things like that. I'm just so conscious of doing things for 80 year old me. Hence why I think that failing is such an important thing to talk about because you fail all the time, right? We do. But let's go buy the music book and fingers crossed they have a beginner one because I definitely think I'm gonna need to start right back at the basics and fail a good few times before we get there. But that's absolutely fine. Of course it is. I don't know what a single music note in this book is. And this is grade one, okay? So I did grade three. I have absolutely no clue. No clue what these are. But I've been doing some research on like how to kind of start and what to do. So I'm gonna start with some scales. Hence why I bought a book on scales. Because we gotta start somewhere. <laughs> what am I doing? That was alright. I have failed at quite a few things in life. I have done my videos on how to not care what other people think, which I do really, really believe. And I don't care enough for it to stop me doing a lot of things. But I am conscious of the people who potentially have more of a negative mindset might say that I have failed at this one thing. YouTube. I've been posting on YouTube for over seven years. I have made hundreds of videos. I have got two and a half thousand subscribers and some people would look at that and they would say that I failed. Why do you keep posting when no one watches your videos? Why do you still have the dream one day of being able to do YouTube as your full-time job? I think there's so many people, like even subconsciously, they think of success as followers, as money, as the luxury things that they can buy. But I'm really trying to look at success in terms of what have I learned? What skills have I developed? And how do I feel about it? I mean, don't get me wrong, obviously the statistics are an easy win, but what else? 
In today's society, most of us have access to everything with just a tap on our phones. People blow up on social media overnight and so, to be honest, it's not a surprise that that is now what we think success is. But on the flip side, I love having a hobby. I love having a hobby which I absolutely love and something that I get to work towards every single day. So, that is definitely a win-win-win in my books. Because of what I said a few days ago about how people love like instant gratification, I feel like for a lot of people they might find it more difficult to try something new when they know they're going to be bad at it because they're not going to get all these instant results and something. So it's something I'm really trying to consciously do, hence why we're doing something new. <laughs> Today is actually my boyfriend and I's five year anniversary, which is absolutely insane. But I thought it's a perfect opportunity to give him an update on my string skills, show him what I've learned, give him a little serenade. So I'm really excited to see what he thinks about that. But first of all, we've got a little activity plan. And I guess this is something you can say that I failed at before. Tennis. Tennis is also a similar situation to the violin. I was lucky to play for years growing up and then I just stopped. I would say I half-heartedly tried to get better across the years, but to be honest, I just wasn't that first. But now I'm having fun working towards getting better and I can actually see my improvement. But I have failed as a tennis player because I'm not going to Wimbledon or the US Open. But I mean, who knows? But you might wanna watch out because my saves are definitely getting loads better. Yes, I'm not up to scratch. I mean, I felt that's pretty easy to tell, but in my opinion, I haven't failed. I haven't failed playing the violin because that's my progress after one week. I haven't failed because I'm gonna continue learning, I'm gonna keep practicing, I'm gonna get better. Of course, everyone stops things or fail, fails things all the time, but I think the real failure is around your mindset is at it. Are you stopping because you can't be bothered and you feel like that's the best you're gonna get and you don't wanna embarrass yourself, you don't wanna put in the work, or are you stopping because you just genuinely don't enjoy it? There's two massive, massive differences there and I think that really is at the crux of failing and your mindset around it. 